Hey, it's the Empire. Geo Boxing Empire. Backstar Boxing. Now, man, my boy Oscar Valdez, man, he tests positive <laughs> for a pet, man. And it's wild stuff, man. They're already coming out saying that, um, you know, it was the tea. It was, uh, it was <clears throat> this. It was that. And, you know, it's wild stuff because I understand that a lot of people were saying that this was a diuretic and the stuff that Oscar Valdez was on was fentermine, right? And this is not a diuretic, right? It's um, it's a central nervous system stimulant, sources say, right? Now, I'm it's on ESPN.com, man. I'm linking in the description, man. My commentary reported this, and man, I mean, top rank went in full defense mode, man. They're saying how it's the T and how, you know, this reporter isn't ish, you know, and they just went all out in on them. And a lot of people are weighing in on this Oscar Valdez fight. One noteworthy fighter is Devin the Dream Haney, right? Um, Jamal Herring weighed in as well, and Javante Tank Davis weighed in as well. But Devin Haney weighed in on it because he used to be uh, a WBC champion, right? And at one point, he was the WBC champion, and he was stripped extremely fast, right? Because he was, quote unquote, inactive. <laughs> so that being said, you know, um, if you actually look on his record, it, it shows him uh, getting the title and then losing it and then getting it again. Right. So that being said, man, you know, the, uh, my boy Devin and Jim Haney feels some type of way about Oscar Valdez getting the benefit of the doubt because, you know, he wasn't given the benefit of the doubt when he was just inactive. Right. It's wild that you know they knew exactly what oscar valdez was eating to make make him test positive for this substance and it's just ironic that they knew within 48 hours exactly what the food was if it was that easy to figure out what it was you know you have a whole catalog of everything you ate that's, that's the only way you're going to figure out what you which what caused that red flag to make you test this uh this for the substance right it's wild man it, it almost seems like it's like a building excuse to every kind of substance there is <laughs> on the ban list man and you know oscar valdez he changed with canelo Alvarez, and canelo Alvarez, you know test positive positive for clenbuterol right this look makes canelo's camp look bad with eddie renonzo you know unfortunately for canelo Alvarez, he tests positive and he's the biggest name there so it's gonna make the whole camp look like you know they're on a the sauce they're on a the sauce so oscar valdez man big name fighter you know he had that amazing win with michael burchett and that win is looking real suspect now that <laughs> he's testing positive for these banned substances because he went from a come forward fighter with mediocre stamina to looking like a superstar in that michael burchett fight that was that was uh that was his best fight bar none that was even close right so I'm going to get in a quote where Javante Tank Davis said too. he says, LOL. So we're using stimulus to enhance our performance now. Bet. This is my boy, Javante Tank Davis. This is what he said. And it's wild, man. You got people from different weight classes talking trash about Valdez. You got people in the same weight classes talking about Valdez. And Javante right now, he vacated his 135, 130, 130 title. And right now he's fighting around 130, 140. Um, we don't know who's going to fight next, but Javante, he feels some tough way about that too. And you know being a fighter and, and mastering a certain skill like power being a knockout artist like Devontae Tate davis god knows what kind of a monster he'd be on if he was on the same thing right if he was doing the same thing the same kind of drugs he'd be killing people <laughs> he'd be killing people you know people would not only cry foul but want him to face criminal charges if he slept legal santa cruz taking that kind of stuff because i understand that oscar valdez you know he's scheduled to fight somebody and they're uh, they're acting like this is not you know this is not a big deal and we can just move on and we can just get get to the next fight right Oscar Valdez understand he's scared he's scheduled to fight Robson uh can kill a kill can't pronounce the guy's last name but the guy's undefeated undefeated fighter right from Brazil so people are acting like this is not a big deal and if you actually look at his box correct it's still scheduled right it's scheduled for September 10th. That's only a couple of days away and it's still and it's still scheduled right so you know we don't know what's happening with this whole thing but 
this is a bad look for the Canelo camp. It, even even if you don't think they're a part of it, it's just it is building a reputation for the camp, right? And it's not looking good. The only people that's two half the people there test positive or something. Canelo being number one, uh, Oscar Valdez being number two, and then you get Andy Ruiz and Ryan Garcia who have to test positive. Yet, because <laughs> you understand Ryan Garcia, he just got to the camp. And so did Andy Reese. Andy Reese just got there like a year or two ago. So, you know, Ryan Garcia, he hasn't got to that level of superstardom yet because he's not a champion. But what happens when he's a champion? He's fighting these big fights that are career defining fights. Will he test positive? I mean, the it's looking bad now because the camp is looking like when things get hot, people start testing positive. Canelo Alvarez, when he tests positive for Clembuterol, that was the biggest fight of his career when he fought Triple G. You know, Oscar Valdez just had a big win against Michael Burchett. And now he's fighting another. He's fighting an undefeated fighter coming up in a couple days. But people are acting like it's not a big deal. Um, it's just wild stuff, man. Um, but the champions weigh in on it, and I can go in with all quotes from everyone. But each one of these fighters need different, different videos. But Javante weighed in on it. Jamal Hearing weighed in on it. A lot of fighters weighed in on it. Uh, I'm not gonna quote Jamal Hearing because you guys can look it up yourself. But he, I'm paraphrasing, of course. But he's saying something like. Um, this drug that Oscar Valdez test positive for, it helps you lose weight. And people say if, if, it's, if it helps you lose weight, you can hide other substances because you're, you're losing weight so quickly. So your body is getting, getting in and out of weight because you're dropping pounds of weight. So whatever you're on, you can flush it out of your system. So this could be a masking agent. That's what Jermaine Herring said. And I might throw it in my video to see you see it yourself. But it's wild stuff though, man, wild stuff. Anyway, man, let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. Wild stuff from Oscar Valdez, man. It's making the band camp look bad over there with Eddie Renzo. A lot of people are saying he's fire uh, trainer of the year and everything, but, you know, this keeps happening at his camp. Is he really trainer of the year? Or or, or is he is there a, a secret concoction that everyone's eating over there to make him get superpowers? It's looking bad. It's looking bad for the public over there, man. Bag. PR, bad PR. Let me know how you guys feel about it though. Let me know how you guys feel about it though. Like, comment, subscribe. It's the Empire. Geobasket Empire. Peace.